Okay, so let's talk to Coyote about this picture. I love I'm still wearing my old ninja getup. You're back. I think the highlights of the Wolves game will be on soon. Want to take a load off and watch with me? I found something in the bunk, bunk Sam was using. Did Sam have a sister, or you know someone named Jessica? Did Sam have a sister? Her brow furrows. Yeah, I think he did. He mentioned her once. It didn't sound like they got along that well. Your Kongling chirps and the screen shows the smiling face of Officer Aguirre. Remember him? Yes. The guy collecting for the Orphans Fund? <laughs> yeah. The guy, he's like... He's the cop who's also a scumbag, but he's a likable scumbag. Whereas Officer McCluskey is an unlikable scumbag. He's, if he's smiling, it must be about money. Are, are all cops on the take as happy as you? Talk? Or what a pleasure to hear from you. Um... That's, might as that's well be. Marky. All right. Yeah, we have our own clubhouse and everything. <laughs> as per our discussion, I'm informing you of another. I'm informing you of another Ripper murder. The victim worked at the NTSB investiga investigation facility down on the docks. You owe me for this. Put it on my tab. You there now? Better get here quick before McCluskey arrives. The image on your PDA dissolves as the call ends. Another Ripper murder? Where? The docks. I've got to go. Okay, listen. I want to help. You dragged me out of the Royale before... something bad happened. Worse than getting my arm torn off. Torn off. And Sam was my friend. You head to the docks and I'll see if I can track down Sam's sister, Jessica. She might be able to help us. Thanks, I appreciate the help. Right, new objective. Take a cab to the NT NSTB warehouse. Also, remember that smudged up letter Sam had found on Sam's body? Yes. Something about Jessica, right? Yeah, the na the name. Yeah. Something about you know I'm sorry I'm so sorry we you know you know about what happened I want us to reconcile something like that. Yeah. All right, let's head upstairs. That poor, that poor guy, he looks so depressed. I don't know why this person is watching him with such rapt attention. <laughs> He's waiting for the next move. I mean, this isn't exactly thrill a minute, but at least she's doing more than just wobbling in place. All right, let's hit the warehouse. It's still in full ninja regalia, so hopefully we will be nice and stealthy. Oh, by the way, see that, um, notice that poster over there? Yeah. Dunkelzon, 2056. Dunkelzon is, was, um... A goat? What's that? Is he a goat? He's a dragon. Wow. Yeah. And he actually did run for president in 2056. And I won't say what happened, because that's in the future of this game. Future relative to where this game is, I believe, so... I won't say what happened. But yeah, dragons... Dra a number of, like, ancient dragons, like, real, like when the Sixth World began, when magic returned, a number of dragons we awakened. And a number of them are, like, part of society. In fact, the world's uh, largest megacorporation, Sater Krupp, is owned by a dragon. What's that thing over there? The sinless are free, huh? 
um, they they use they can uh, they can take on like a human like a humanoid like form as well when they want to go among people. Take a cab to the South Seattle Ducks. Confirm. And we're off. The South Seattle Ducks. <coughs> Leaving the seamstress's union behind, you head to the docks. The Ripper killed Sam, and maybe he or she slipped up with his latest victim, left some useful evidence. Only one way to find out. South Seattle's your typical industrial area. Grit, grime, and gray. The rain doesn't help matters any. Layers of dirt mixed with abandoned wooden pallets, repurposed into makeshift furniture for the day workers. Garbage collects in the gutters of the broken-down street, disreputable as the district's middle name. Your destination the National Transportation Safety Board Warehouse. It's located on a small strip of dock towards the less maintained end of the waterfront. Despite the presence of those who linger in such places, it's quiet as you approach the gate. Here we are. Bicycle. Streetwalker. Hey, you looking for a good time? Do anything about the NTSB? That's kind of a weird thing to. That's kind of a weird thing to ask a pros ask a prostitute. Yeah, the bums the bums around here have been working have been stealing old crap from that place for years. Not worth my time though. I can get money so much easier. <laughs> Scooter. Well, maybe the security guard will just let us in. Tell him we're with, uh, tell him we're with Officer Smiley there. Oh, see if we had etiquette security something. The guard looks bored. He toys with his gun absentmindedly, like he might sh shoot something on a whim just to watch it die. Hey, you're about to trespass on corporate property. You're looking to get dusted, street scum? I'm working with Lone Star on the crime scene. Investigation of the NTSB warehouse. I'm looking for my kitty cat. Here, kitty. I'm the new maintenance guy. This is my first day. Or etiquette security. Officer Aguirre called me in. Needs me to rule out if the killer bypassed security if they, or if they were let in. Okay. So we got to... We got to bullshit in our way in somehow. Or hopefully we can try. Let's try. I'm the new maintenance guy. Sure you are. And I'm Lot Lof Weir, the King of Dragons. Beat it. The the guy who owns Sater Krupp Corporation? That's that's who that is. Lof Weir. Let's see. Street walk. Hey, you looking for a good Tw oh, alright, here, twenty new yen. Not me, a friend of mine. I need you to have some fun with the guard by the fence around the corner. She looks at you knowingly. Alright. Twenty buys you a five minute distraction. Then I've got to get back to work and earn some real Nuyen. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, wait, I think I, I may have missed the other way to go in. I wasted my... Hey, that's mine! Who raised you, a pack of wolves? That their ladder is rightfully mine! I could use your intestines as a rope instead, is one option. You can pay him five Nuyen, can I borrow from it? Or, since I have Charisma 3, I'm not taking it far, I just need a little boost over the fence. Oh, you're breaking into the NTSB warehouse, too! If you see any of them airplane blankets or pillows, snag me one. <laughs> well, I could have saved 20 million on Hooker, although I, I might want to use the, uh... Well, I can't, yeah, okay, yeah, I need to... Now I use the ladder. Yeah, I guess I need to use them in combination. Set up the ladder. And... I've... And I'm over. Meanwhile, they're... Being kept busy. All my ninjutsu skills to stay invisible. Ooh, 
Ooh, something in these boxes. Ah. Ah, AP grenade. Send to the stash. Uh, phosphorus grenade. Co pack co explodes, causing an... Does 8 damage and then explodes, causing an additional minus 4 HP for 3 rounds. I don't really need four med kits at once, I don't think. Here. Now, if there's anyone that needs to be roasted alive, we're covered. Okay. Pitted. We're about to transition to a new location. Continue. Yes. The warehouse. <coughs> Inside the large gray warehouse is as typical the <coughs> is as typical as the outside. High ceilings adorned with girders and rickety catwalks, top a huge utilitarian room. Concrete and steel walls meet a concrete floor. This is a place for storing things and nothing more, quoth the Raven. Despite the quiet on the outside, the inside is a hornet's nest of Lone Star officers going about their business. In the center of the activity is the Emerald City Ripper's latest victim. With uniforms everywhere, no one stops you at the door. It seems this case hasn't linked to the linked leaked to the press yet. Lone Star, no, you've got a job to do. New objective: speak with Sergeant Aguirre. Uh oh, look who's here. Can you just walk right by him? I don't know. I'm gonna say hello to a guy. Took your sweet time, didn't you? I'm a busy man. Who's the corpse? Just a corpse. <laughs> and one that's not gonna do anything for my career, I can tell you that. I left the computer on in the office over there if you want to see for yourself. The victim worked here at the NTSB warehouse as a black box researcher. NTSB. The National Transportation Safety Board. This warehouse is used to go over the wreckage from plane crashes to try to determine what happened. The Vic was in charge of their highest priority investigation at the moment. We're going through the victim's computer and his and his case notes indicate he was selling secrets. Idiot kept records. Spilling corpse secrets. Not the wisest career choice. Nope. Some runner like you probably offed him to cover up his corp master's involvement and tried to make it look like a ripper killing. Here's the office key. Check it out yourself if you want. Hey, a familiar face. There's old, there's old good old Dresden. As jovial as ever, it seems. Flandry! Surprised to see you here. Let me guess. Officer Aguirre tipped you off. Suppose you must have made an impression on him at the market yesterday. Or your cred stick did, at any rate. I, I, I bribed him last time, too, so I, I don't know what happens if you don't offer to donate to the orphan fund, if there's some other... I presume there must be some other way you come by the information. Although I don't know what it is. Anyway, surprise! We've got another Ripper victim on our hands. So what's the story with this one? The victim's a ma male, mixed Native American descent, age, tw age 38. Based on the condition of the body, it looks like he was killed around 2 in the morning. Cause of death? Unknown. Several internal organs were removed from his body after death, quite gruesomely. I'm not sure if this killer, if the killer even knew what they wanted before they started cutting. Not much else to tell you, really. He does have a lot of pre-existing scar tissue, so he probably had a major surgery at some point in recent history. Unfortunately, with the organs gone, I can't determine the nature of the surgery. Mm. Any idea which organ the Ripper was after this time? Well, the killer definitely took the lungs. The more I look at it, though... The other missing organs may just be eviscerated within the chest cavity. Is McCluskey getting any closer to a suspect? McCluskey couldn't find his ass with both hands. Don't tell him I said that, though. How's Officer Aguirre doing on the case? He seems like a real go-getter. Aguirre would love to solve it before McCluskey and get his gold detective shield. Plus, he'd love to see McCluskey suck, suck it in front of his superiors. He's already tried to bribe me to keep information from McCluskey and slip it to him. I'm, entired by their t I'm inspired by their tireless pursuit of justice. Did you take the money? He grins from ear to ear. Do you have any idea how much this job pays these days, sir? 
I don't think Aguirre's officer's salary is going to do much to seduce me into helping him. It sounds like the Ripper... It sounds like the Ripper is taking a different trophy from each victim. Sam's liver, this guy's lungs... Any theories? Sorry, I don't do theories. I'm just a scientist who happens to prefer dead people. However, while there was massive damage in the chest cavity, I can see that the victim's lungs were transplants. Ah. Which is interesting, since another victim's missing heart was also a transplant. And the, and the girl... And maybe that girl with the eyes. Granted, modern medicine has made organ transplants relatively easy, but it is an odd coincidence. But, as a scientist, it's just that. A coincidence. This is only the third body I've personally examined. One of our other branch managers handled the other two. If, if you find that more of the victim had or, victims had organ transplants, I'll let you know. Who's that woman over there? No clue. She just showed up. Next of kin, I think. I'm going to take a look around. Good luck out there.